this drink will stop being blurry. What the hell? If you don't clear your ass up, there you go. Something else I want to install. You know what I mean? Hold up. Oh, yeah. Finally got my Honda Data Boost solenoid. And uh, I'm going to show you all how to install it, man. If you got one yourself. So, if you're trying to install a boost solenoid on your car, you're going to need a few things boost solenoid, electric tape, some wire, wire cutters, wire strippers, and some heat shrink. So, yeah. First thing you're gonna to want to do is uh, find a mounting spot for your solenoid. Um, it's gonna be different depending on your build, but um, and also depending on which solenoid you go with. If you go with the Honda one, it has four ports, um, a breather, and three vacuum spots. Um, once you put that together, like I said, you're gonna to want to find a, a good spot for this based on the position of your turbo and how you're gonna run the wires to the ECU. So, let's check out how I'm gonna run mine. All right, so once you find the spot that you're gonna mount your solenoid, um, these two wires are gonna have to be ran inside uh, to the ECU. Uh, I've already got the wire that I'm gonna run to the ECU, ran all the way through the firewall already. Pretty much just gonna uh, connect them and then we can go. Uh, now, when you when you wiring it up, what you're gonna to wanna to do is use like some heat shrink and uh, some uh, some electric tape. If you wanna be super technical, you can solder it. Uh, I don't have a solder at the moment, so I'm just gonna tape it and put uh, heat shrink and then call it a day. So I got the uh, wires ran to the ECU. Um, from what I understand, the boost solenoid, there's two wires. Um, like I said, based on the diagram that I have, uh, it doesn't matter which one you run to which. Pretty much the final process is to run the vacuums. Um, depending, if you have the same four port boost solenoid that I have, it's labeled A, B, and I have like a little diagram here, I'll show you in a second. It's labeled A, B, and N. Um, the N comes directly from the turbo port. Um, A is goes to the top of the wastegate, and B goes to the bottom of the wastegate. I actually don't have any vacuum line right now, so I have to go buy that. Um, once I do that, it'll be fully functional. So one of the things that a lot of people don't mention is that when you're trying to do a boost solenoid, one of the things that you need to make sure that you have is to make sure that your ECU has the boost by gear components in the actual ECU. Um, so if you buy a brand new from Honda, that's usually an option that they give you. Um, but if you're buying it used and you don't know if you have it or not, um, you're going to have to crack it open and see. So, there's going to be uh, five Phillips head screws that you remove, and then um, I'll show you uh, basically where at in the ECU that the uh, components will be. So, once you actually open up the ECU, um, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, if you have a Honda uh, V3, uh, it's, this is the Honda right here. Um, and basically, um, if you want to check to see if you have boost by gear, um, if you actually look inside of the ECU, each section kind of has a letter and a number. And up, if you have the ECU like, uh, like this and the Honda is here, you're going to look up in this top left section. And up here, I don't know if you see this little copper one right here. Um, that one is actually uh, Q29, and you're gonna be looking for that. If it's if you don't have the components, that'll be empty. So basically, you want to look for if you have Q29, D14, R70, and R71, which they're all in this area. Um, when I was getting tuned, I saw that I didn't have these, and so you have to get those boost components soldered into the board in order for you to run boost by gear which is pretty important a lot of people leave that out but if you have an ECU a used one and you don't know what's in it you definitely gonna want to open it up and check to see if you have these boost components yeah man so if you learn something hit the like button um, you see that right there 
yeah, go ahead and hit that right there, man. That's the subscribe button. And uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm approaching.